add QP, Gwid, Gwid, Gwiddy, and QP, add them. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Add your tips for all of the programs and church albums. This is church albums right They're now. They smooth as regular weed. I just yep. memorized my bones today. Hey, I, did y'all see Rum Nitty versus T Rex? Y'all seen that? Yeah, they was naming albums. You, you, you can stretch and die like Whitney Houston. Oh, y'all ain't get it? Stretch and die like Whitney Houston? No, stretch and die and die like Whitney Houston? Y'all didn't catch that? Was that fire? Did y'all like that? I hope y'all did. Nah, you nah, respectfully, mean? respectfully, this is me talking to Tim, respectfully. Diddy is fire. I just, me personally, I didn't like that ball. Just, just because of, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't like that ball. You want to know what's crazy about that ball? I like it. I didn't, I didn't like that ball, even though, like, it was like a, because it was like, even if you ran it back, it was still like, nah, that's, nah, bro, nah, not for hey, you. Mac, Mac, this is the thing, that's so funny you say that, because that's I so like, true. And like, this is me being respect, like, respect. Nah. Hey, hey. It's just, that ball, that ball, it wasn't it for me. It was just like, oh, okay, I see what you're trying to do, but that's not it. Hey. Man, originally, the, the bar was originally scream and die like Whitney Houston, but he changed it to yeah. stretch and die. He Man, I get it, it. But, but for me, the delivery and even that, I don't care. I'll put like that. Hey. You can't put that in the hands of anybody and I'd be fired. I'm trying to give you the gym. You're not letting me give no, you the gym. No, look, let me look. I'm trying to cut. Look, look. I'm trying to clock out the gym. Even You're supposed to sing that, that ball. Anybody, Hey, I don't care who Gwitty. you give it to. Gwitty. The best nigga you know, in the world. My right is Even if crazy. you give it to the best nigga in the world, that particular ball, it was it, it didn't work for me. It could work for other people, but it just didn't work for me. Even it when he ran like- it back, it didn't work for me. But that don't that that's not taking nothing away from him. It, I'm just saying that ball. Even when I heard, I'm like, nah, nitty, nah, that nah. I'm, I'm going to give you all the gym. Listen, that's cool. Con- Conceited turned it down and Heartless turned it down. That bar has been floating in our circles for three years, for for two and a half years, that bar. And I told him, I'll use it. I said, Wait, I'll what? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, ain't now, you, you don't want to tell. You don't want, you don't want the potatoes. I've been trying to see the that's potatoes. That's the fuck I you do. You don't want them. You wait, don't wait, want them. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. You don't want them. Hold up. You don't want them. said, what the what? Was floating on, floating on. It been around since it been around. 2019. 2019. That's how long it's been. It's been in the great circle, and we was trying to figure out who was gonna be, who was gonna be legendary enough to say it. It's like a slow it down. Who's legendary enough to do this bar that you gonna have to sing? He even did, and uh, he did something, but it was like, nigga, it's a risky thing to do. So it was in our circle. I got, bro, I got, I got, when it was written in 2019, I got the voice messages from the nigga that wrote it. And he was like, yo, Conceited and Heartless said this shit ass. He say, he say, I'm like Hector from no Fr- from Friday. You don't want no smoke with me. Then he said, you can scream and die like Whitney Houston. You get it, scream and die yeah. like Whitney Houston. He said, kind and heart said it's trash. So then we shopped it around. We shopped the bar around. We shouted to Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty said, oh, that's super creative. He said, it's super creative. Now, listen, this is going to stay here on live because I can, get those, I can get those screenshots, but the nigga that wrote it don't want no credit. He just wanted Rum to be like, yo, hit him up and be like, nigga, that shit went well. But he didn't even hit him. He just used the fucking bar like it wasn't a like it wasn't an SONS bar. That's a son's bar. I told niggas I got ghostwriters. I've been told niggas that. I say, if you don't think I got ghostwriters, Use a fucking idiot because I have the best writers in the world around me. If you don't think Surf got writers, Jazz got writers, all these fucking niggas got writers, you're a fucking buffoon because this is elite rap. There is no, oh, let me rap in the corner with a candle lit. No, fuck you, Gaddis. What, what happened to Gaddis? Gaddis right in the corner with a candle lit. What happened? 40. She got 40 by a bitch whose head was bigger than any performance she could ever had. So with that being said, let's revert back to what I said. The nigga used the SONS bar. That's still my nigga. 
But nigga, pay homage. And another thing, bro, when we get our when we get paid, my cash app ring all year from when niggas come off the stage and get their back in, my shit just ring because it's a brotherhood of like, I, you don't have to pay me. But nigga, remember me when you get on that stage and they call you a god? You better make sure the nigga you remember who helped put that ink in your pen, nigga. That's on God. That's why I don't have no problems with my niggas. Why would I have problems with my niggas when we love each other? Me and my niggas love each other. I hit the stage and I come off stage with my back end, you see cash apps flying out. Why? Because niggas don't write this shit for free. You think I'm just going to write this shit just to say I wrote it? No, nigga. And if I do do it, then you better fucking call and tell me things. And if you don't, then they will know, nigga, you're not that nigga. You're just a nigga with niggas around you. And yeah, you write 99% of your shit, but you got that, you one, one. You got that 1% clause in your contract to show, nigga, you're not that nigga. That's my nigga's bar. Philanthropist is his name. His name is Phil. And he gives out bars for free. Philanthropist. Look at the fucking meaning of his name. That'll tell you what type of nigga the nigga is. And he told me, Q, don't do it. And I said, no, nigga. Like, you've been writing shit. Like, nigga, 15 cent from the nickel, and I'ma do it. No, 15 cent from the nickel, and I'ma do it. He wrote that. What are you saying? This nigga is God to you. So when I tell you niggas like me, crap, it's a lot of niggas that write so greatest niggas. Yo. Wait, what the fuck is going on? Church hours is getting unusual. Salute to Steamo, Lingo God. He one of the Lingo Gods. It's, it's unusual. Hold on, QB, he's spinning. Damn, his shit spinning the block. I know he about to pop back out for the pop out. Hold up. You heard what I heard? Like you just you heard what I heard. I can't hear you. Did you hear what I heard? It's not yes. create narratives we correct them you understand that's a heavy allegation that's a heavy allegation hold on y'all i'm at hold on i'm gonna add him i'm gonna add him back i'm gonna add, that's a heavy allegation he said that he said yo how you feel about that ball with the uh, Whitney Houston ball, and I'm like, uh, that wasn't, it didn't hit for me, respectfully, but that's not taking nothing from Rum Nitty. That's not taking nothing from, from Rum Nitty. It's some shit that a nigga may not like from me. That's cool. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? I said, I, you know, that ball, that particular ball, nah, that, that ain't work for me. He said, so crazy that that was a son's ball that they said that they didn't like or whatever the case may be and they shot the ball around and it landed in any hand and that that's a crazy allegation that's a crazy allegation that's not regular because I hold a lot of niggas to a, a, a high degree, like myself, ain't nobody that can get mad at the ten and be like, "Yeah, that llama biscuit sauce, I gave that to Mac." Impossible. That's the ten. That's my hard work, getting the elixir and going in the fucking bathroom and getting the body structure together. That's how I get. I get right. I go cop a. Uh, I, I go cop a fifth. Give me my cranberry with the, yeah, with the orange juice and mix it up. 
and then we go in the bathroom with it, and we go with the, the phone, and we go in the notes. And I get right for y'all that way. So I always hold everybody to a highest extent for niggas that I feel like that's fire. Right now. Hold on. Hold on. I just, I just need people to get off Yoshi. Get off Yoshi. Get off these other people. Feel me? Just, just relax and enjoy the show. That's how it goes. Like, the Captain Morgan line, the conspit, oh, on, behind the on. scenes. That shit ain't gonna slip through. Right. No, it's not. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. It, it's going. It's flowing. You now, like again, you say the 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 Whitney Houston ball, the Amber, all of that. It's been around. That well, it's not that. I put you like this. Now that I'm speaking on it, we now we can't get the we can't get the follow up and die bar. Oops, I did it again. And I dead ass like we was gonna come with the Brit the, the Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. And I for the next one because that one was gonna go over well. I figured the next one will go over well. We can't even follow it up because the nigga rum wrapped it. I didn't receive a fucking payment. That's sons of material. I so that that bugs that network, bro. Hey. Matt, Matt, listen to me. The nigga that wrote it does not battle rap. All he do is hit us up and say, hey, what you think about this? I'm like, Hector from Friday, you don't want no smoke with me. That's fire. That's fire. You have Angel Dust. Angel dusting off the blunts. I'm like, Hector from Friday, you don't want no smoke with me. That's fire. I didn't rap it. I didn't get a chance to, but I would have. I would have. I would have rapped the and I, all that shit. I'm not tripping, bro. It's my. It's the team that I created this style with. So you think I'm going to let somebody tell me what I can't and can't use in my circle? No, nigga, fuck you. Fuck all you niggas that write by yourself. Feel me? Keep writing by yourself. Do it. But just know the people we looking up to and that we fucking clapping, oh, my 40, 30, fire, fireworks, all in the comments, those people don't write by themselves, dog. So surf the fucking greatest nigga doing it right now in battle rap does not write by itself. Sue Surf does not write by himself. Do you understand? Listen, let's talk about Skip from Nitty, because that's my West Coast brother, and he write all his bars by himself. It's just when you get a suggestion that only a top-tier, god-tier legend can pull off, you rap the shit when nobody else can. Uh, Khan did Slow It Down, I just dissed you. That was my shit. He rapped it because he had the fucking star quality to make it, to pull it off. So it's no longer my bar no more. It's, it's Conceited's bar. It's his shit. He pulled it off. He's the nigga that shot a nigga with the bullet. So I need niggas to relax. Now let's move forward. No. Talking about Tay Rock. Tay Rock just had an arthritis bar. The nigga directly took that shit from King Los. King Los had a freestyle. The nigga Tay Rock liked the freestyle and said it was fire. So then I go do my research. Like, how did he come up with an Arthur right this? Because Arthur right is kind of not a reach. And Tay Rock's a reach rapper. Where did he get it from? Oh, King Los, a nigga like me, like Daylight, one of the pin guys. Nigga, you can't go rap that shit and don't think I'm going to know where you got it from. Niggas need inspiration every day. He's sitting next to that little boy, Caution. She cannot help him rap on that level. Sue Surf got his own battle. Sue Surf talking so much shit, he can't even give a bar to rock if he wanted to. Why? You got your own battles to fight. So for niggas who don't produce bars like a fucking factory, this is how you get it done. I'm a factory, so I don't need shit, but nigga, I'll take shit. I'm a factory, and I will take shit. Hey, yo, Prep told me to tell the bitch, feel me, tell her, tell Cutie cool down, or I'll put the nail in the coffin. Because, you know, and I didn't have to fucking think. I was like, yeah, if Matrix show up, which he didn't, I would have said, Prep told me to tell you, and I would have wrapped this shit verbatim. I would have said, Prep didn't tell me to tell you to wrap this shit verbatim. And then in the interview, they'd be like, man, that what you call the nail in the coffin line, cutie cool down. Yeah, I was like, yeah, Prep gave me that. I'm that nigga, bro, to tell niggas where the shit come from. I've never been no hater of my people. Feel me? So that's just battle rap, bro. Feel me? That nigga took the arthritis, nigga, right from fucking King Lowe's freestyle on L.A. Leakers and put that shit on Drake's stage. I'm so disappointed in, in what we call legendary status. Like, that can't be legendary. That can't be. How is that legendary? How is that legendary looking and stealing and to put it on the stage? And then, and then talk about niggas like us with pins. Like, because you're a performer, so you speak down on these niggas. But then at the same time, you, you like that whole, you know, you like that whole existence. Oh, I like how he put that together. Oh, my carpal tunnel. So the way the Arthur Wright is, the nigga, you gotta be 
third eye open to rap like that. You think Tay Rock got his third eye open, or he got his fucking third eye open for them boys that he be fucking sneaking around with? Stop playing, bro. The fucking third eye just that's on God. It's everything I love and work for, bro. How about this too, though? So then we supposed to be on the card with Tay Rock and Cautious, and because Debbie Ruffin was battling Swamp in South Carolina, we were the secret surprise battle. Tay Rock and Cautious didn't show up because you know we was gonna see that boy in person, and you know what that's what it was gonna be like, right? Like, right? I've been playing it behind the scenes. Like, I will be where Rock is at, and I will show the battle rap world with a top tier bar gun bar king. I'm gonna show you what that looked like in real life. I'm gonna show you what that looked like in real life. It don't look like a gun bar king. It look like a poodle. Arr, arr, arr. It don't look like a gun. Arr, arr, arr. It don't look like that, nigga. And I'm going to show niggas. Like, bro, I've been behind the scenes. Like, I promise you. And every time I put something up to let the cat out the bag, like, he get wind of it and the nigga duck. Like, bro, I will find him. And when I find him, right, just for him saying Yoshi's kids were dirty, I'm going a, I'm to a exact things just for that statement. I'm going to exact shit. Fuck the crackhead shit. Fuck him dating little boys and being silent about it. I don't care about none of that. You should never talk about Yoshi's kids, nigga. I'm on your ass, bitch. Just for that. Who gonna get mad at you for beating a nigga up because he said somebody's kids was dirty? Hey. Okay. Then what happens? Tell me. I'm really curious as to know why things are enveloping like this. I could get more Tay Rock bars, but it don't even matter. He's so high up on the phone call. Who cares if he steals bars? Me and my nigga steal bars or whatever, right? So it's not that. It's just that just take it a level down. If you respect me like this, respect me like this then. Because I'm telling you what it was. QP's always told you. Go back to my old interviews. I tell you, I've been had niggas in my server to write for me. I told niggas that. I told niggas that. I said, I went into the battles with other niggas' bullets. Niggas said, okay, he's the best writer in the game. We're going to go ahead and look the other way. But everybody else, they want to fucking just frown upon it. Don't frown upon it. Nigga, this is the big leagues now. They cut a $113 million check to caffeine for the battle rappers, and they're spreading that shit out. As you can see, they ain't even spent $2 million yet. Out of $113 million? Come on, dog. Like, you got to know this is the market where I was born and bred to, to write and to write for these people. I don't care if I ever make the stage. My shit that I write, you see how I, I, I talk in bars, right? And that shit make people go crazy. I'm writing that shit for your favorites. Let it go, bro. Like, just... Be excited about it. Like, I'm never what, going to know that. On the Drake card, on the Drake card alone, bro. On the Drake card alone. Just, just so to backtrack my lineage. And you can see whoever's close to me, bro. Like, it doesn't, and nobody's going to care because you're getting the best version of every person. And you're getting the version that I'm a ghost, right? If I go say it myself, it don't have half the impact. You realize that, right? So, you're, you're Yakuza dragging down the side like a Yakuza tat. Let, let Sue Surf say that. Let Sue Surf say that. Let Surf say that. I swear to God, I wrote that on the shitter. Let I wrote Cersei. that bitch on the shitter. On the shitter. Let him say that. Let him say I that. I swear to God, I wrote that on the shitter. And then I shit it on the nigga. Word. Off the repetence. Drag it down his back like a Yakuza tat. I had the Henny mixed with the cranberry. With a cigarette <laughs> on the shitter, and I wrote that, and I got right with it. And I shit it on the nigga off the repetition. Salute the snake eyes, you know what I'm saying? But he, he took that fucking bullet. Now, you wrapped that on Van? That was what? No, that was what? That was, uh, I think it was, it was, it was Born Legacy, some, some Survivor Series. That's what Survivor Series. I would have really rather got a Van sitting at home. For that one bar, because niggas show love like that. Let a nigga to get 50k a battle, 40k a battle, 25k a battle. Help that nigga be the greatest nigga that he could be to battle rap. Do you know what type of loyalty those niggas show? Like, do you know what type of reception they get when they come off the stage and they be like, man, dog, when you said this, and then they know for a fact that's not they shit personally. It's they shit because they make it believable and they have the star quality, but they know. Deep down inside, like when Kevin Hart go up there with them jokes, he know his best friend to the right told him how to go up there, but uh, uh, no, no, no. But he eighty four people in the hold on real quick. It's eighty four people in the hold on. It's eighty four people in the building. Add the ten. Talk the source program. It's church hours right now. Add the ten. You.